I've got a visitor. It's Håkan. Say hi to Håkan. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm very good, fine. And you? I'm fine. Thanks. Nice to meet you, Roger. Nice to meet you too. In English? In English. Are you comfortable with speaking uh, English? I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> How was the driving here? We have so much snow yeah. uh, in Sweden and especially in our country. Yeah. And it's minus 15 outside, I think now. Which is pretty warm, considering we had like minus 24 uh, a few days ago. Yeah, it's summertime now. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. No. no. It, was, it was a good, uh, good ride. A little bit of snow, but uh, I came here. So that's the, the main reason. So. Yeah, cool. And you work as an entertainer and musician, and, or should I say entertainer with music as your entertainment. Yeah, that's really correct. Yeah, yeah. I, I work with that. I uh, play guitar and I sing and I play. I play a lot of instruments. I think. W when did you start to play? I was started to play guitar with I uh, when I was in uh, third grade. Like twelve, thirteen yeah, years yes, old. Yes, and okay. uh, from that uh, moment on, to add some more instruments, bass and drums and, but guitar is the the main instrument. And you're left-handed also. I'm left-handed, you know. Mm. And we're in Roger's studio and I don't see any left-handed guitar here. That's because I'm right-handed. <laughs> and I've tried to borrow his guitar to show him some songs. It doesn't work. It's no. Can you tell me what kind of work you do with music? Examples. I, I really like to, to play music that uh, make people to feel uh, joyful. They, Joy, yeah. I like to to sing songs that other people can sing with me. Like in in this in this country we have after ski of course. A lot of after ski type of music. That's gigs in the afternoon. Yeah. After the downhill <laughs> then so people go downhill yeah. and then they go to after ski and have yeah. a beer and and yes. be and be entertained by people like you yeah and also you you yes, sometimes yeah but yeah. you're you have a black belt <laughs> in after ski. I'm, I'm, I'm a rookie compared to you yeah. can you describe yourself musically what 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 music do you play I really like uh, rock music uh, some tempo and stuff. I really like that, and and I and I really I was thinking of that when I was driving here. What what kind of songs did I play at home? And I, I really like, uh, as we spoke earlier, Brian Adams, and uh, I think that fits my voice. Yeah. Uh, Brian Adams and I have a similar voice. Is that is that the difference what you play at home and what you play yeah. when you're performing. Uh, absolutely. I can yeah. play a lot of songs at home that I don't play when I'm on stage. Because? As I said, I, I like when uh, when people sing and jump and dancing and uh, so that's the kind of music that I play outside. Uh, when I'm home I play, I can play uh, a lot of types country music I like. So you play when you're playing at home you play more that so that you feel good. Yeah. And the main purpose when you're playing outside is that the people, yeah. the audience feel good. Really good thinking, yeah. Yeah, okay. How many gigs do you have per year average? Oh, now it's a pandemic so we don't yeah. count this year. But maybe I do um, 120 125 maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. My main focus is the, the winter season, of course, when if we're not in a, in a pandemic, we have off the ski type of music. So, 
so maybe I do the uh, maybe 60 70 gigs on the on the winter time and the other ones on the on the summer so so my main focus is the the winter and you live also close to uh, the win ski resorts yeah. uh, in Sweden yes so mm. uh, that's why I'm just playing it at one place on the, on the winter so yeah okay that's that's what I do. Do you plan your vacation? <laughs> What's vacation? Okay. <laughs> That's I don't really have. Do we have any vacations? Here? Some touring bands. Yeah. They have like they they work a lot from December to yeah. April, and then they have one month free, and then they work a lot again, and then they have a couple of weeks free. You don't plan it like that. No, I also. When the winter gigs are over, maybe in uh, was it April? I think April, so? May. Yeah. Then uh, the May month is, um, of course, the, the the month you can you can do another stuff, of course, visiting and and so maybe it's May and uh, October, maybe mm. uh, when uh, when you're starting up. So so you sort of take advantage of the low season. Yeah to have low season for you as a musician yeah. uh, to have days off yeah I think so that's yeah, that's uh, yeah I, I think so and also I when I just play I play less in the summer so I can uh, maybe do some fishing and uh, go visiting my my parents and stuff so yeah May and October is the the main uh, holiday for me <laughs> you've already answered that you play a lot in the area where it's close to your home yeah. with the ski resorts and stuff like that but are you also touring when you work with music uh, as we all know we travel a lot uh, sometimes alone sometimes with uh, somebody else or perhaps a band uh, so um, we're sitting quite some hours in in the car i know you mostly as a solo entertainer yeah uh, but we have played together yes, as do. a duo yeah fabulous duo <laughs> of uh, <laughs> roger and Joachim. Yeah. you have played with bands yeah. and do you do that still yeah we uh, i have a, a band in the, the rock town of Ånge. so uh, i play with some guys there uh, we uh, have a party band the main thing I do, I play solo. So you play like solo 100, 110 gigs <laughs> yeah. per year, yeah. and maybe 10 or 15 gigs yeah. with others. Yes. And that's in, that is including me then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel fortunate. <laughs> Suddenly I feel fortunate. Yeah. I'm one of the lucky few. Uh, we have really fun when we play. Yeah, we do, we do. Especially when we do a, a song that, I think it's, uh, is it don't stop what I was saying? Uh, no, well, big, big. well, he <laughs> always when I play an intro uh, on a song, he sings another song which annoys me a lot. But it's also a lot of fun. Yeah, we are really fun. It's it's amazing to play with Roger. So, <sighs> what is the most common question you get about your job? What do you really work with? <laughs> Have you for real, for, yeah, <laughs> I, I I get that question all the time. But yeah. is that the com most? Yeah, common? it's it's the the main question I get when I when you uh, tell people what yeah. your your what your work is. Yeah. yeah, what what is the most common question you get at a gig at a performance? Oh, that was a really tough question. Uh, that that must be. Can you play a certain song? I think. Yeah, uh, and. Uh, some, of course, I think you can relate to that also. It, we play a lot of songs, of course, and uh, some songs plays multiple times more than other songs. Yeah. And uh, so when the question comes, can you play this? And uh, maybe you've done it two or three times on that gig already. That's um, uh, one of the most common questions I get. Yeah is that can you play this song that i played two songs ago <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's yeah uh, what gear do you use 
I really, uh, well, uh, can I show it? Yeah, of course, of course you can show it. I don't think that guitar has <laughs> some kind of copyright. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, this is uh, a Sigma, uh, and I really like the shape of it. It's a little smaller. And the size. Yeah, this is it's a smaller. It's not a dreadnought. So uh, it's a triple O guitar. So this is the, the main guitar that I use. Uh, I have a lot of other guitars also, but this is the one uh, that I use for almost 99% of my gigs. Uh, do you have the pedals or...? Yeah, I do have some pedals, but it's not the main thing that I play. I don't play with loops. Not loops? Uh, so No uh, stomp boxes? No stomp boxes. I use the guitar as a stomp box and mm -hmm. I... When we have a technician with us, uh, I say I like to have a lot of bass in my guitar. Yeah. So I can do that. So uh, not a, not quite so much uh, gear with me when I play. So this one, and I have a boost also uh, when I play. Yeah. And. Uh, some vocal backup like uh, you have we have a similar one uh, the pedal that makes harmonies yes, yeah. yes so that's the gear that I'm using so not so much so you can travel pretty light yeah that's bring a microphone a guitar a couple of pedals yeah. and that's it yes yeah do you have other hobbies except music you mentioned fishing fishing is a is a really a nice hobby uh, when uh, Especially at the summer, yeah. uh, ice fishing is not for me. No, uh, I want action, and the action when you when you ice fishing is this. Yeah, and, <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully sometimes in the in the next hour I get something. Yeah, and so, then you get a sleepy fish, yeah. and and cold you, and sleepy uh, fish. Yeah, yeah. So that's another question. So uh, summer. Fishing is the the main thing, and also I like um, I like cooking. That's cooking, the, yeah, that's mm -hmm. the main hobby right now. I uh -huh. watch a lot of food programs and the chefs and stuff. Cool. Do you think it's important in our line of work to have other hobbies? Yeah, I think so because uh, I think it's in every every work that you do. You have to have something else. Uh, I think it's it's going to be, otherwise I don't think I am do this work so long that I have done. And get otherwise, away from your main yeah, work, so to speak. Because uh, when, uh, maybe, when I, for example, when I, when I fish, uh, I don't really know if I get any fish, but it's, it's nice to be out and we make some fire and, uh, mm. and, and, and then go home again, but, but then you have piece in your head and uh, throw all the way mm. and then uh, maybe on a Friday or say okay now it's time to to gear up again and we go out and, and play and then we come back again and leave the guitar at home. How much do you practice? I practiced a lot before uh, in my younger years so <laughs> Uh, I'm happy that I'm and uh, taking up my guitar at home for for the moment. So. I, uh, I don't practice enough. <laughs> I don't. Now they say that uh, they say that musicians think about practice much more than they really practice. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's. I think it's that's the really good answer. Yeah. And another and a famous piano player in Sweden said that when you're younger, you practice to get better. When you're older, you have to practice not to get worse. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit true also. Yeah. But then, uh, but it also depends on how much you're performing, also to keep your fingers yeah, uh, in shape, yeah. fingers and voice in shape. The yeah. more you, the more I perform. Uh, actually, the more I play, even at home, for some reason, because I want to feel that flow in my fingers and my voice. If I don't have gigs, I practice less and have to practice a lot more yeah. before the next gig. 
I really like to to play at home, but I I think uh, as, I, as we mentioned before, uh, then I'm maybe playing something else uh, other than what I'm going to play on the gig. Yeah, for your own sake. Yeah, and uh, because uh, maybe uh, I want to practice a solo on, on something on the piano. Or Learn a song yeah. that you like yeah. or something. Yeah. But then when I when I'm taking the songs that I'm going to play. At a gig, I really have, as as we all know, we have a lot of songs in our in our banks. So I don't, I don't really rehearsing any new songs anymore, in the in the in the way perhaps I should be, because I know I have this amount of songs and all these songs I can do a really good gig with. And I don't really have to put in some new songs, but of of course we have to put in some songs. Sometimes for me that's a bit frustrating because because I want to learn new songs, uh, mainly because it makes my job more fun. Yeah, of course. And uh, and I get a challenge because I've just learned ten new songs that I want to perform, and yeah. it's a challenge to perform those because. I don't know them as well as the songs I've yeah. played for 15 years. On the other hand, the people that wants a party mood, yeah. they still want the same songs yeah. as I've played for for many years. Yeah, and and another thing that I was thinking about is, of course, I get some new songs to play, but then it's maybe for a wedding or uh, uh, something like that not uh, divorce parties <laughs> if you have call me <laughs> <laughs> but uh, perhaps we, we can we can say if you and I were going to play uh, yeah and and uh, we have uh, we have a gig in, in uh, three weeks so maybe and uh, then we can uh, say we, we let's do something new yeah, yeah, and we then, email then, each, email yeah, each other yeah. a song list, and I I recognize four songs that yeah. I don't know, yes. and I check them out, and after our gig I will steal them and yeah. and use myself, <laughs> exactly. uh, and you will probably do the same. Yeah, of course we can. Do, um, yeah, and and that's maybe the the question that you have if when if I get practicing, and I, I think I practice when it's time to do something fun. Yeah, okay. uh, so something else, yeah, uh, with for with you or with with my band or. Uh, and you're fortunate way. also to work in a ski resort where the audience changes from week yeah. to week, so you don't play for the same audience. Yeah. There are regulars that yeah. come, but the regulars come maybe three or four week in a whole winter. Yeah. So, you have new audience, so. Even if you play exactly the same set list at, as last week, yeah. the people you have changed the audience. Yeah, so that can be changed for for from today to tomorrow. To tomorrow. So, yeah. uh, but it's. I think. Uh, I, I'm lazy. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. We can say that I'm lazy. You're, you're, I don't, you're, I don't. We'll, let's say that you're saving your energy yeah. for the performance. Yes, let's say that. That's ah, <laughs> good. <laughs> Copy paste to the next one. Well, we have come to a segment I call seven quick ones. Yeah. Seven quick ones is seven questions. I will say this or that, and you have to choose one or the other as quickly as you can. We're gonna try. So. Coffee or tea? Tea, please. Summer or winter? Oh, uh, I say winter, but not as cold as it is now. Yeah, winter. Okay. <laughs> Restaurant or cooking at home? Cooking at home. Country or reggae? Country roads. <laughs> Country. <laughs> Country. <laughs> Football or hockey? Oh, that's a tricky one. And football is the, the thing where you kick the ball with the foot? S soccer, I think. No, football. Oh. You kick the ball with the foot. It's not <laughs> It's not so difficult, really. 
Yeah. Uh, that's a that's a hard one. Uh, I say uh, hockey. Cross country skiing or downhill? When uh, when I was young, <laughs> uh, I I practiced a lot of cross country skiing. So now it's downhill. Downhill. Yeah. On your way to a gig or from a gig, music or silence? Silence. Do we have a Swedish word of today? That's the the thing I was thinking about on my way to the Roger Dat studio. And I'm going to say the Swedish word snörök. 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 And in English it's... That's <laughs> what it calls in English, yeah. What would you say in English? Do you know that? No, no. That ah, that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Snörök. Snow. That is. Snow. Can we say? If it? I should translate it directly, it would be like snow smoke. Snow fog, maybe. Snow fog, maybe. Yeah. When you're driving uh, behind a big truck in uh, in the winter, it's. Uh, it's a tricky one, uh, even uh, as experience. The as snow that shatters from the big yeah. trap uh, uh, that it's makes the visibility yeah. almost zero, that is in Swedish, snörök. Yeah, that's the Swedish word for today. Snörök. <laughs> cool. And Roger that. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs>